How's it going guys? Toasty Bros here and we're here with another build and in this build we're going to be doing a $400 gaming PC build and we're just going to run down the parts real quick and then we're going to do a time lapse of the build and give you some benchmarks and show exactly what this build is capable of. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. Alright, so in this corner we have the AMD not 8350 but 6300. So yeah, we're going to be doing a 6300, but the interesting twist is it's going to have a Wraith cooler on it. So it's probably going to be really OP for this, but you know, who cares, we're all about that. And over here we have the 78 LMT, so we've used this board quite a few times. It's just a micro ATX board, and it's very cheap, it's made by Gigabyte, and it really does get the job done. It has uh, HDMI, VGA, and everything on it, but we're actually going to have a graphics card for it anyway, so it doesn't matter. For the graphics card, we have the Radeon HD 6850. So this is an older card, but it's actually a really good card, and you can see you can do multiple um, outputs with it. So you can have multiple monitors as display port, as all the new stuff you'd possibly need on it. So definitely an overall good card. Over here, I'm actually very excited about this. A lot of you guys are probably gonna hate us, but this is a Ros, yeah, I believe it's a Roswell um, RX 530SS. So I've had this power supply before, back when it was like even more junkier than this, I guess you could say. Um, they call it a hybrid series, I'm not too sure what's hybrid about it, but yeah, I, I guess it's kind of um, modular in a way, I guess you could say. And <clears throat> But like judging by the reviews though, it's supposed to be really good, and it glows blue, and you're going to notice this whole build is going to be blue and black. We have finally a desktop solid state hard drive, we're really going to see how good these things finally are. We've been so excited about it, so now we're going to see what can they really do. Here we have two 4 gig sticks of HyperX Fury at 1600 MHz. So this stuff is really good um, practical RAM, it's DDR3, it's new, it looks nice, and it kind of gets more than the job done, it gets the looks done too, of the build. And then with this case, is a DIY PC case, so you guys are going to see this once we get into it, but it's another one of the DIY PC cases, we really want to talk to them about maybe doing some sponsorships, because the past like four cases we've done in our builds have been DIY, and they've all been different, and they've all impressed us a lot, and you guys love them and they're super cheap so we're hoping to talk to DIY about that maybe you guys will see this video
So we hope you guys enjoyed this video because we know that we did. This was a lot of fun. We managed to do this whole entire build in about just an hour. So that means cable management, getting the thing to power on, uh, figuring out any of the quick fixes we need to do, such as the CPU fan was making a little bit of rattling noise, and we figured out that was more than likely because the motherboard is only being held in by one screw at the moment, and it's not doing it anymore, so I guess we fixed it. Um, and so yeah, we really didn't run into any major problems. This case is really sweet. Once again, thanks to DIY PC, even though they did not sponsor this, but you know maybe they, they probably should. Maybe they will for you know one of the upcoming builds because we've used quite a few of their cases now, including the, like the Cuboid and yeah. a couple of other cases. We've used, nice. we've used a lot of their cases, and we uh, we've loved every single one. They're super cheap, and it's honestly like even though it's cheap, it's the best cases like I've ever used because I, I can't like cable management wise, they have a back panel. A lot of the cases I've used that are way more expensive than that don't even have them. So um, props to. DIY for that and for the sweet color schemes for them being super light even though it probably means that they're kind of cheaply made but, but it's it's a computer case it's not like nobody it's not a laptop you're not bringing it places yeah. it's just for the show which it definitely shows the blue LEDs look awesome in it it's super quiet too by the way like this thing barely makes any noise which we do need to kind of lower the CPU fan a little bit I think it's yeah it's kind of a little loud and there's also this little function up here it's a CPU fan yeah so the CPU fan is making a little noise, but you can turn the fans on and off, which is really strange to me. I don't know if there's more to it, um, but you can literally, there's just a button up there where it's fan on or fan off. I'm sure there's more to it, because they call it a fan controller. Um, quote. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's more like an on and off switch. But yeah, yeah this build's actually really cool. I like doing it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you haven't already, like the video. Just like the video. Leave comments down subscribe. below. And subscribe to the channel for more builds. Uh, we're going to do more upcoming builds. We'll have some cool product reviews coming up shortly and cool collaborations and that sort of stuff. So yeah, peace, peace out, out, guys.